Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie another pattern of William Bayard Sturgis. And this is the Cahill Quill. This is a wet fly. And the hook that I have in the vise is a size 14 standard wet fly nymph hook. And I'm going to use a cream thread, this 70 denier. Then I'm going to put that base of thread down. I probably don't say this enough, but the reason for the base of thread is so your materials don't get pulled around the bare hook shank. If you have that base of thread, it grips. Now to start off we're going to put the tail on and for the tail I'm going to use lemon wood duck is what he calls for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to catch the tip. Just grab onto the tip there and pull them back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that tip out because this is going to be used for the wing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that tip out. You don't have to cut that much out. You could do a little less, but this is a, this is a bit long of a hackle. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to take that part that we cut out and I'm going to take fibers off of this for my tail. So I'm going to take probably half of this half of this tip. We'll keep them aligned and we're going to make this tail about the length of the hook shank. We can go ahead and put a wrap under the tail and this will prevent the tail from sliding down around the bend. Got a couple of strays there. I'm just going to trim them off quickly. And why I'm here with the scissors, I can trim that excess. Now for the body, I'm going to go ahead and put the body in right now also before I secure everything. And what he wants is a, it says a bluish gray peacock hurl, stripped peacock hurl. And the Cahills are lighter colored. So what I am going to use is a bleached or a dyed white peacock eye uh, hurl stem stripped peacock hurl this was a dyed white one and here I have about a good three and a half to four inches I'm gonna trim some of it to get to take the uh, the more brittle tip off so I'm gonna go ahead and tie this in by the tip Then I want to make a nice flat body. I could go ahead and twist my thread counterclockwise to flatten that thread out. Get yourself a nice flat body. You can even make a tapered body now with the with your thread. And I see I'm a little bit fatter on the front there, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more wraps in there and try to keep them wraps pretty tight. And we're going to flatten that thread out some more and bring that up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to take the uh, peacock curl and wrap my body I just turn it so I can see the point of the hook better. And once I get it under control, I can use my rotary feature and wrap my quill up the shank. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this 
all the way up and then I'll tie that off there just gives you a little more security on the quill itself and I'm gonna trim off that excess take my poke and snip and get rid of that excess just clean that up a bit I want to be about one and a half eye widths in back maybe two eye widths in back I'm going to put the hackle on next and he calls for a light brown hackle so I have a light brown uh, saddle hackle here that I'm going to use and I'm going to tie this in by the tip so I stood the hackles up and got them out of the way so I can tie it in by the tip now I can trim away that excess now I'm going to hold my hackle up you can see how they're standing at the 90 degree I'm going to try and get them to one side but you can also hold it like this as you are wrapping it and that will bring the hackle fibers towards the rear just stroke them towards the rear as you're going yeah, I'm gonna give it one more wrap I think and I'm gonna tie that off I can bend that back and get a couple locking wraps in front of it. Take my poke and snip once again. Poke and snip. Bring my thread back to the hackle. Now I'm going to take the wood duck feather and I'm going to pull them all together and I'm gonna just basically squeeze them together almost like they're rolled if you find that you have a lot of them that are too long or too short just you can go ahead and take them off so here's the feather I, that I have I want this feather to be just into the tail I'm gonna hold them I'm holding the feather flat pull it straight down give it two or three securing wraps and then we can go ahead and trim that nice and close and we can finish off the head There we go. Clean that head up nicely. Get our whip finish. Tug that tight. Poke and snip. Take a little bit of head cement. And here we have the Sturgis Cahill Quill. This one here is the, uh, actually I'll call it the Light Quill. And here on the right is one that I made with a, with your standard uh, peacock hurl, stripped peacock hurl. So you got a, a dark one on the right and a light Cahill Quill wet fly on the left. So I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors and let them know I sent you. 
leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies that I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.